Are you thinking about buying your first home, but you don't really have a clue how to go about it? Well, hang on, because I'm about to give you the first steps you can take to buy your first home. Coming up. Hey, good afternoon, guys. Tim back in the Revolved Realty Studio. Hope you're having a fantastic day. On today's program, I am talking about first-time home buyers. You wonderful young people generally who are looking to buy your first home but don't really have a clue how to go about it. Well, your old Uncle Tim is here to clear it up for you. There's a lot that goes into buying your first home, but the best place to start is is before you even start looking for houses, have an idea or better still know exactly what you're looking for. And the best way to do that is to come up with a list of what's really important to you. Is it location? Is it price? Is it size? Is it school district? Come up with a list that details generally the house that you are looking for. Okay, I'm looking for a um, three-bedroom, two-bath home in the Madison School Districts, and my budget is $200,000. Go. That at least gives you and your realtor a place to start. If you were to come to me and say, Tim, I want you to help us find a home, and you had no idea what kind of home or price or anything like that for me to look for, I would really tell you, I can't help you until you have a better idea. So the very first thing you do, even before you start looking at houses or getting on Zillow, is figure out exactly what you want. Three bedroom, two bath, school district. Or is it, I, I want to be downtown where all the, the restaurants are. I want to be out in the country. What's important to you? Come up with that short list that you can give to me. Then the second question is, you've got to know what you can afford. One caveat there, just because you are approved or you qualify for a certain amount does not mean you need to buy that house. By that, I mean this. Uh, based on your income, your debt ratio, your credit history, uh, perhaps on paper, you are approved for a $200,000 mortgage, but uh, maybe you can only afford the payments on a $175,000 mortgage. That's what I always tell folks. It's not how much you're approved for. It's how much can you really afford? Because when you get that pre-approval, they do not take into account all your other bills and everything else you've got going. So in addition to knowing exactly what you're looking for in a house, know exactly how much you can afford to pay monthly as a payment. And then the third step goes right along with that is you're going to call Stephen. You're going to get pre-approved. And again, he's going to tell you how much your pre-approval is, but you're going to say, Stephen, we can afford this much a month. And he's going to work out the numbers for you. And then from there is when you get someone like me involved. You simply go to your favorite realtor, you give them the parameters. You would come to me and say, okay, Tim, we want a three bedroom, two bath house. We want three acres in harvest. Our budget, according to Stephen, is 189,000. Uh, go find us something. Then I'm on the trail. I can find you a house and we can start doing the negotiations. In the next video, I want to talk a little bit about what happens after that. What happens when you do get a realtor on the trail of your house? And what happens if I find that house and I send it to you? What you should do next. Home buyers, it's an exciting time, but it can also be a frustrating time. I'm here to help you through that. If I can do anything for you when it comes to real estate, 679-0704 is my number. You can look me up on the web at revolved.com or email me, tim at revolved.com. Next time, we're going to talk about the next three steps in the first time home buying process. And uh, we'll get you through this. Don't you worry. You're going to hold my hand. You got, I got you. I got you. It's scary, but you're going to be okay. All right. Get out of here. I'll see you next time.